So it's been over a year and a half since I made my first video talking about deconstruction, leaving Christianity. Um, you know, I published that in December of 2022. Now, as of recording this video, it's almost August of 2024. So over a year and a half since making that video. And so I wanted to do an update on like where I'm at with my, my deconstruction journey, my deconversion journey. Similar to that video, this one is completely unscripted. I'm just going to be sharing my thoughts for good or evil. Um, you know, I don't always articulate myself the best when I don't script it out. But at the same time, I think there's there's value in just being raw and not overly prepared. And so where am I at? Like, where am I at since deconstructing, deconverting? Where am I at since making that video? Because I was definitely at a place where... I felt a lot of anger. I felt a lot of hostility towards Christianity still. And I'm not really at that place anymore. I've done some more healing and, you know, done evaluation of my life of like, where do I want to actually be in life? What do I actually want to, you know, some of my legacy to be? What do I want to do with my life? And it's not to stay in a super angry place. And I also feel that I've gotten a little bit more spiritual, not religious. I'm not going to still don't have any plans to ever attend a Christian church again uh, and really haven't seen any organized religion that resonates, that appeals, that has any kind of like truth claims that I feel like I resonate with. And I'm like, okay, this makes sense. That said, I definitely do feel a sense of kind of spiritual coming back, kind of in the form of, you know, meditation, in the form of, you know, a little bit of like self-hypnosis, a little bit of, you know, affirmations, a little bit of just being in nature and experiencing nature in a little bit of creativity, trying to kind of experience, I don't know, a spiritual feeling, a greater feeling through creativity, through filmmaking, even through like making making videos like this. There's sort of like, I don't know, a spiritual experience. And it's hard to even like define what is spiritual because everybody defines it differently. But I guess I would define it now as like a connection to something greater than myself. Rather, that's kind of the, the collectiveness of humanity or nature or, you know, even even playing with the idea of maybe there is some kind of deity, maybe there is some kind of consciousness, some kind of like collective consciousness that's, you know, kind of just like connecting everybody, um, you know, all of that kind of stuff. I've gotten gotten interested in and exploring that. Um, you know, I'm not saying that I that's like where I've fallen. I've also gotten much more comfortable not knowing. Um, there was a long time, and I can't remember if it was particularly during when I made that video, but I was uncomfortable not knowing what's after death for sure, not knowing if there's nothing like to know for sure that I'm like, I, okay, we can guarantee that there's nothing after death or we can guarantee that there is a heaven or we can guarantee that we reincarnate or we can guarantee that, you know, our souls go into some kind of collective, you know, consciousness kind of thing. You know, who knows? Like who freaking knows? And it bothered me that I couldn't figure that out for a very long time. And I've, I've come to a place where I'm at peace with it. I'm okay not knowing, uh, and just kind of accepting that I'm not going to know. And like, that's fine. That's okay. I don't have to know for sure about any of this stuff. And at the same time, it gives me the freedom to explore different ideas. You know, if I ever want to explore what Hinduism is all about, if I ever want to explore what Buddhism is all about, if I ever want to explore you know, other philosophies, Confucianism, uh, you know, what the Greek philosophers thought. If I ever want to explore some of that stuff, there's nothing holding me back from it. There's not that staunch atheism, well, it's all nonsense crap, 
And there's not the Christianity that's you can only follow the one way. It's only through Jesus. Um, so I sort of feel a little bit more free from that to explore. I still would define myself largely as agnostic atheist in many ways, but I would also maybe define myself as spiritual, not religious. It's it's kind of a weird dichotomy, to be honest. Um, but that's where I'm at. And that's okay, because I, I feel like it's it's a journey. I don't have to arrive. There was a long time I felt like I had to arrive, and it had to all make sense, and I had to have all the answers. And I would watch tons and tons and tons and tons of videos about everything and learn about everything. Um, I don't watch near as much um, apologetics, counter-apologetics, uh, history, you know, biblical history kinds of stuff as I used to, you know, occasionally I'll pop on a video, um, you know, like a video essay or something that's like, you know, an hour or two hours deep dive if I'm doing a lot of, you know, kind of mindless work, like sorting video footage or something where I don't need to know, like hear the audio or something. And I just want to put, put that on. Um, I'm able to do that, kind of enjoy it but I don't take it as deeply and intensely, and I'm not as bothered by not having all the answers anymore. Um, and I think that that's just a process that's natural, because as a Christian, you feel like you have all the answers. You feel like you've got the Bible, you've got God's Word, you have a direct line to the creator of the universe, so you've got all the answers. And if you don't, you're going to be able to find them because God's going to reveal it. And then when you leave and you suddenly, you like, you have all, at least for me, when I left, I had all suddenly all of this like scientific knowledge that I was learning and this history that I was learning and all of this stuff that I was learning. And I felt like, oh my gosh, now I've really got all the knowledge. And, but I still don't have these answers. So there's got to be, there's got to be. And sort of like that, that rat race of trying to find and, know that you know that you know that you're going to heaven tonight if you die kind of thing that Christians, um, at least back in the early 2000s, really like to hit you with in evangelism. Um, or, you know, as an atheist, I know that I know that I know that there is no God and that this is all there is kind of thing. Um, I don't feel like I need to be in that place anymore. I don't feel like I necessarily have to know because the truth is, like, it, it changes. Like, you know, I'll read a book and I'll test out the ideas or I'll listen to a meditation and kind of explore ideas maybe in that meditation and see what resonates, what doesn't, what rings true, what doesn't, all of that stuff. And it's very, very powerful, very, very powerful. And so that's really kind of a cool, cool thing. Um but yeah, I guess that's a lot of where I'm at is just kind of exploring more rather than feeling like I have to have all the answers. Um, a lot of, I won't say all, but a lot of kind of the deep rage that I felt at Christianity has passed. You know, sometimes there are still certain things that will trigger me, that will frustrate me, that will get me angry. Things like you were never a real Christian is probably still one of the biggest ones that's an angry trigger for me. And I'm not sure, I'm still kind of exploring why that is. Why does it bother me so much that people don't think that I was an authentic Christian? But that's, you know, something I'm, I'm working on. But a lot of the stuff I've been able to move through, heal, move on from. A lot of the wounds and a lot of the damage that Christianity did, I've been able to move through. I'm still, there's some parts of it that are deeper that I'm working through. Some of the damage from purity culture, still working through, still kind of trying to figure out a lot of that. You know, there's still some levels of, insecurity, underconfidence that came from, you know, being told that you are an evil sinner from birth um, in my particular denomination and that, you know, God can only look upon you through the blood of Jesus. That was a big thing in the church that I grew up in, uh, you know, 
basically till I was 18. Um, and so, and so that, you know, there's still some of that stuff that pokes up that happens, that rears its ugly head. And, you know, so that's a process. It's always going to be a process. There's always going to be things, but things like hell don't bother me. You know, I'm not bothered so much when people tell me that I just want to sin or that I'm an evil sinner. Uh, you know, I fundamentally reject the idea of sin in in that sense uh, and kind of that dogma and that control aspect of things, um, kind of the patriarchal way of viewing the world I've largely rejected. Uh, I'm just, I'm not into that. And so a lot of that stuff has moved away, has changed, is gone. And it's, it's really nice to be moving forward. Uh, a lot of kind of what I'm doing now um, is inner work on myself to heal a lot of wounds rather they came from christianity rather they came from just my upbringing in my home other experiences that i had to get to generally a more healthy place a more confident place a place where i don't care so much what other people think of me where i'm not bothered if somebody really doesn't like me where you know comments on the internet don't bother me as much where even it doesn't bother me if somebody that I love and respect disagrees with a position I hold on something or something that I do. If inside with myself, I'm at peace. Um, why should I let somebody on the internet bother me? Um, but it does. And so what that speaks to me is there's something unhealed, some part of me that feels like desperate need for approval from people that I like and respect and I need them to agree with everything that I do or somehow my world is a little unbalanced. And so, you know, I'm working through some of that stuff. I'm working through those emotions as they come up, working through different wounds, you know, reading some different books, getting some different ideas, some different philosophies. As far as things that, you know, are helping to heal me, and helping me to move more into who I want to be to create the life that I want to create. And so that's really kind of the direction that I feel like I'm going, that I'm going to be going over the next year, two years, probably the rest of my life moving more towards that. But I'm really hoping over the next year or two, I'm going to get to a whole, like a whole different level of comfort, like looking back over the last year and a half from where I started in my really frustrated about deconstruction, deconversion um, kind of place to where I'm at now, even just things more benign, more mundane, like I don't want to necessarily be living in Kansas City uh, for my whole life. Like I want to move somewhere that is, you know, more tropical, more beach, maybe somewhere that has a little bit more mountains, more nature, um, just like more than the Midwest to really feed my soul with all of the nature, feed my soul with the sound of the ocean, the warmth, the just all the amazing nature that's in our world. I want to you know, have the confidence to travel more. I want to have the confidence just to like, make the films that I want to make, have the confidence just to, you know, get out there and date more, um, get the confidence, hopefully like to find somebody who, you know, I can share my life with. Um, and, you know, just to continue to make more authentic videos here, continue to expand like my YouTube presence, hopefully continue to grow this channel, hopefully continue to grow my filmmaking channel. And, you know, just continue to live a fuller and fuller life um, because, you know, rather there's something after this one or not, this is the only life that I get as me on this planet. Like, even if, like, reincarnation or something is true, 
uh, I'm not going to remember it. I'm not really going to be me. I'm probably going to end up like a bug or something. <laughs> but you know, um, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But, um, you know, th- this is the one one life I've got and really, you know, figuring out how I want to live it because, you know, 33, it's not that old, but it, it feels a little bit old. It feels like I should have really been like doing the things and traveling in my 20s and having the adventures and by this point I should have like a really solid established career and 401k and portfolio and you know stuff and if you've watched some of my videos over the last year you'll know that's not the case you'll know I've made a lot of mistakes and struggled and and still trying to you know pull myself out of some of that but um but yeah so really the journey that I'm on now isn't so much deconstruction as reconstruction that's really the journey that i'm on now is reconstructing figuring out what am i doing doing that healing and trying to live my life in a way that really resonates with me if you've made it this far in the video you are a freaking rock star i appreciate you so much consider giving this video a like and if you're not subscribed subscribing to continue following my journey to continue getting my thoughts on different things like Christianity, philosophy, world events, etc. And I will catch you in the next video.